I've been laying down for hours now. It's 5.35 a.m., and there's not much I can do. You know what the worst part of my situation is? I'm in the same room as my parents. They keep looking at me, and I can't help but look back and try not to cry or scream. Their eyes are focused on me and their mouths are wide open. There's a strong sense of blood, and I feel paralyzed with fear. Here's the thing. The second I make any hint that I'm not asleep anymore, I'm completely fucked. I will die and there's no one around to save me. I've been trying to think of a way out, but the only idea I have is to rush for the front door and scream for help, hoping any neighbors hear me. It's risky. But if I stay here, I'll surely die. He's waiting for me to wake up and see his masterpiece. You're probably wondering what's going on. I do tend to get ahead of myself sometimes. About three hours ago, I heard screaming from the other side of the house. I got up. I went to check on the noise before realizing I had to use the restroom. Instead of doing the smart thing and investigating, I used the bathroom first. I could have gotten myself killed right then for my stupid actions. I did my business and took a peek outside the bathroom. There was blood on the carpet. I got very worried and ran back to my room, hiding under the sheets like the pussy I was. I tried to convince myself to go back to sleep, that it was just some really vivid dream or something, but I heard my bedroom door open. Like the terrified child I was, I peeked out from under my blankets to see what was going on. I could see something dragging my dead parents into the room. It was not human, I can tell you that. It was hairless, with no eyes or clothing. It walked like a caveman, with its back slouched as it dragged my parents. But this thing was much smarter than any caveman. It was aware of what it was doing. It propped my dad up on the edge of the bed, and made him face me. It then sat my mother down in the chair, and positioned her towards me as well. It then started rubbing its hands on the walls, staining them with blood, and then drew a circle with the devil's pentagram on it. This thing had made what it would probably call a masterpiece. To finish it off, it scribbled a message into the wall that I could not read in the darkness. It then positioned itself under my bed, waiting to strike. The scariest thing now is my eyes have adjusted to the darkness since then, and I can read the message on the wall. I don't want to look at it, because it's terrifying to think about it, but I feel I need to see before I'm killed. I peek at the creature's masterpiece. I know you're awake.